Hi library friends, this is Miss Leanne from the Huntley Area Public Library. We're back with another fun craft video. Today we're going to be celebrating Chinese New Year's and we're going to be making some Chinese lanterns. And I'm going to tell you a short story about Chinese New Year's. So let's get into the video. Supplies you need for today's craft. You're going to need some construction paper. You're going to need red and yellow if you want yellow to pop out, but you are going to need red construction paper. And then you're going to need some scissors. And last of all, you're going to need a stapler. So first what you're going to want to do is grab your red sheet of paper. So what we're going to do with our red sheet of paper is we're going to be rolling it like this way. So you're going to want to fold it hot dog style. Now, you want to make sure you're not going to, we're going to be cutting slits. So you want to make sure you don't cut all the way to the edge of the paper. So make sure you leave an inch of space. The width of the slits is up to you. I am doing an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And now you're just going to flatten it down as much as you can. And now you're going to move it to the side. So now you're going to grab your yellow piece of paper and you're going to cut it the long way. You're going to want to cut two strips out of it. Now you're going to put the extra piece to the side and you're going to want to grab that red sheet of paper that you cut the slits onto and you're going to glue the yellow band straps at the top and the bottom of your slit paper. Slitted paper? Yeah, that's what we'll call it. Slitted paper. And now you're going to let that dry. In China, people celebrate the Chinese New Year's because a long time ago, a ferocious monster named Nian would come to their village and terrorize the village. But the thing that scared the monster away was the color red. So now red is known to be put out at people's houses for Chinese New Year's. So they decorated their house with red lanterns and with red paper with writing on it. And red is also a color of luck in China. So they would place red lanterns on the outside of their house to scare away the ferocious monster. And that's how the Chinese red lantern started and the Chinese New Year's began. Now what you're going to want to do is roll your paper up. 
so that one side is matching the other side. So just like that. And you're going to want to glue it as best as you can. Because then you're going to want to secure it with staples at the top and the bottom. So one year, there was a, a villager that had red paper on the outside of their house, and the house was lit up with candles. And that made the monster furious. So the monster swooped down to destroy the paint, the decorations. But he was stopped by a loud firecracker sound. Do you know what firecrackers sound like? Yeah, they're pretty loud. So you're gonna put a staple at the top just to secure it and a staple at the bottom. So the monster heard this big, firecracker sound which scared him and in the morning the villagers were astonished so astonished means surprised that their village was not destroyed by the ferocious monster so every year since then it's a tradition to put red paper on the outside of your house with some candles and then they would have fireworks and firecrackers to scare the monster away. Which is why we celebrate Chinese New Year's. So you're going to grab your yellow piece of paper now. So every Lunar New Year, look, you're going to grab your yellow piece of paper now and you're going to roll it just like you did with this one. And you're going to want to put glue here. Now there's a bunch of different stories and legends, but we do have some books about Chinese New Year's at the library. So if you really want to read more about Chinese New Year's, you can come and check out a book. So now we're going to finish the lantern after our story was done. So you're going to just staple the top and bottom like we did to the other one. and hopefully it will stay. You know, want to hold your hand inside for a while so that the glue dries up. All right, so it looks like the glue is pretty secure. Now what you're going to want to do is try to stick. I might have done it too big. Nope, I got it. So what you're going to want to do is stick the yellow one inside of your red slit paper. And now you're going to do another staple just to secure the yellow to the red. And now what I'm going to do so that you can see the yellow more, I'm going to push. So the yellow is like almost at the tip. But what I want to do so that the yellow shines through a little bit more is on this side, I'm gonna even, I'm gonna match up the edge of the yellow and the red and staple it there. Just like that. And then if you want, you can do, you can secure it with another staple just so that you know that it'll stay. Just like that. All 
right, now we gotta grab, so I grabbed my other sheet of yellow paper and I cut out a strip from that piece. Now what we're gonna do is staple this to the lantern. And if you need help, ask your parents for some help. You can staple it on the outside or on the inside. This side I did on the inside. I think that might, I like it better on the outside. I'm gonna match it up onto that yellow band I have already just to cover those staples that I have already in. And there you go. You have your Chinese lantern. And now you can make a bunch of them and hang it on your room, on your door, outside your house however you want to. Thanks for watching. Make sure you log on to HuntleyLibrary.org for all your digital content you have access to with your library card. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more fun craft videos. And don't forget to hang your Chinese lanterns outside or put some red paper outside to scare away that ferocious monster. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Happy Chinese New Year's.